joining us today from SenseSign Health. Hello to you, Alan. Hello, how are you? Very well, thank you, Alan. Thank you for joining us this afternoon because we want to hear all about this, this relationship that you've got with Microsoft, this te technological, I'll get my words out, and commercial. Um, tell us all about it. What does this deal actually mean, Alan? Uh, this is a fundamental change for, uh, for SenseSign. Uh, we've been working very closely with Microsoft for uh, uh, for two, three years now, uh, the last six months, we uh, we really accelerated our partnership. Uh, and it's really at a strategic level where uh, we, we get to work with each other at a really intrusive level where we understand how the products that Microsoft have in their platforms really match SenseSign's delivery, particularly around artificial intelligence and machine learning um, and software product delivery. So we can really improve the outcomes for our customers and our patients. So tell us about that then, what it actually does. So what are you hoping to achieve together here? So there's a number of things. Um, one is um, Microsoft have uh, really entered the healthcare market with a strong vertical. It's with a series of tools under an umbrella called Health Cloud. And these are really innovative products that commoditize a lot of the things that would normally take you years to build, but are available out of the box and configurable. With that in mind, we're now spending our money our SenSign health money and our shareholders funds on areas that radically change the patient outcomes, not spending it on, on foundation delivery. So this is a real sea change for us. It means we can deliver far more uh, for, for, for less investment on the things that would normally uh, take you years to build. Mm -hmm. A good example of this would be um, uh, the health bot technology, which is specifically designed like a question and answer as if you're sitting in front of a clinician who's asking you those same questions. So it acts to amplify what a clinician would say to you, but it's a computer that's doing it. So far better outreach, far better response. Mm, it's clever stuff, isn't it? In terms of the future, can we expect more deals like this, more collaborations? Yeah, absolutely. We, um, our, 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 um, our arrangement with Microsoft is around co-sell as well. So we've started off with two of our products, which is uh, gestational diabetes for mums. Uh, we've had over 13,000 babies born through our product, which we're delighted at. Um, and that really helps them through their, uh, through, through their, their, their diabetic process. Uh, another is our e-observation platform, Send, which is in use by uh, uh, nearly 100 wards in, uh, in the NHS. So quite, quite a large uh, remit. Um, and Microsoft are actually selling those through their co-sell platform with dedicated teams to support that. We have a list of products that are within that spectrum um, delivering remote consultation care, really born out of the COVID crisis to really, really advance um, and keep people away from hospitals, but in a really high quality, uh, strongly clinical setting at home. And presumably this is an insight as to what the future of medicine looks like. Well, I mean, uh, just one statistic for you that I think will uh, make this really, um, uh, that'll really be highlighted. Um, there are more remote consultations done in the US in one day than there were the whole preceding year. So you're seeing a 300 plus in increase in remote consultations. These are here to stay. And the more we can keep people in convenient locations in ambulatory settings like their home or at work, where they can talk to a clinical professional, uh, where you don't actually need to be physically touched. I mean, that changes the whole economic model. And it um, means hospitals can be used for more uh, uh, acute cases and our, well, quite frankly, the, uh, the, the, the worry that we've all got about the lack of clinical professionals being able to cope with the increased demand, let alone the backlog of elective surgeries and other surgeries that have been delayed because of COVID. Absolutely, Alan Payne, fascinating talking to you today here on Proactive London from Sensine Health. That's great, thank you for your time.